Good day, YouTube. This is Ben Sanity and T Baggy here at Laser Show Wiffle Ball. And uh, we're going to do a video of our Nerf Arsenal today, but we're going to try to keep it down so we don't wake any members of my family because it's 1 30. So we'll start here. We have t two recon stocks that hold clips in the back right here. Then we have the Nerf Raider stock that changes. As you can to adjust it to whatever length you want. Uh, then we have various cl various clips. We got a 18 dart mag, 35 dart mag, some shells for the Busby double barrel. Uh, next we have some recon lights. You can change them, do anything you want with them, pretty much, except, you know. Then we have Nerf long shot scope. We have Nerf recon barrels. I personally like these because they got the little flip up sight right there. They take a lot of range off your recon though. Next we have two Nerf night finders. And I heavily modded both of these. They shoot about 75 feet minimum because I put in new springs, took out all the air restrictors, everything. Next we have two Busby Tech 3s. In my opinion, they're a lot better than the Nerf Secret Strike because they hold three, but they hold three and they shoot a lot farther. But one problem is they don't rotate. You have to rotate them yourself. So sometimes I forget about that. Next, we have a Busby Tech 6. This gun, in my opinion, is better than the Nerf Maverick because it shoots a lot farther, but you cannot ma you cannot modify this gun unless you have a drill. So, uh, next we have the Nerf Hyperfire, I think these are. No, these aren't Hyperfires. What are these? I don't know. But they are Nerf Dart Tag guns that I had to stick my finger in there because it's really, really loud, and I took out the air restrictors, and they hold five darts here, then one in there, and I took out the air restrictors, and the very, very cool thing about this gun, both of these, is they, these attach to tactical rails, so you can attach them to any tactical rail, and it's like an extra gun, and I've always really liked that, because I use it in wars and stuff. Next, we have too many Mavericks to count. And we got all we got three Mavericks here, and uh, one of them's modded, so the barrel comes completely out. And I'll show you that here. And uh, the Tech Six is better than these, but they are pretty fun to mod. This is the one thing that Tech Sixes don't do. Let me show you this mod. Have the to the whole barrel comes completely out, and then I'm gonna mod those so I have the extra barrels, so and just pull them out in my pocket, and then. Uh, next we have the front part of the Nerf long shot, but it really, really sucks, and we don't actually have a real, we don't actually have the big long shot part, because I got all this stuff from my friend, and he doesn't have it, but it was really nice of him to give me all this stuff, and uh, next we have... Two Nerf Recons. Uh, this one is the new one with the gap right there, and this one is the old one. It still has the thing come back, but they're both they both shoot really well. I put a new spring into this one though, so it shoots a lot farther than that one. But this one still shoots really well, and the extra dart storage just comes in handy. Next we have. Two Nerf Fireflies. Uh, these are some of the best. This is one of the best guns in Nerf, in my opinion. Uh, neither of these are modded, but it's really cool when you use those darts and turn it on at night and the darts glow. I always thought that, that was really cool. And the gun shoots really far for being unmodded. It's interesting design and all that, too. So I just always thought that that was dark. Next, we have Nerf Raider. 
Uh, we have the Raider mag, and uh, it's got the slam fire trigger, so you just hold down the trigger and they keep going. Like that. And then it's got a jam door and got a little extra bullet storage, so pretty nice. Uh, next we have a Busby Tommy 20, automatic Tommy 20. Uh, this isn't my only automatic gun, but like I said, it's pretty late, and my Vulcans, I have two Vulcans, and they're elsewhere in the house, and we don't want to go make noise to go get them. So this is just the only one we're showing in this video. And both the Vulcan, I'd, ha I'd have to say that this is better than the Vulcans, it doesn't jam as much, but I I, I like the Vulcans a lot, And but this one doesn't hold as much as the Vulcan, it only holds 20, Vulcan holds 25, but pretty nice. Uh, next we have a Busby Double Shot, which uh, this gun's just fun to play with <laughs> in general. Uh, you got your shells for it. Uh, fires two darts. You can pretty much fire them at the same time. Pull the trigger back once a little bit, and then they have extra storage back there, back here for extra shells and darts, and it's really fun just to load it. Fire away. And last but not least, this was probably my favorite Nerf gun, the Nerf Alpha Trooper CS18. This gun has slam fire. And it's a lot more smooth than the Raider over there. And it comes with the 18 drum mag, so it has all the darts you need. It's very, very lightweight. Very lightweight. It's got a jam door, extra bullet storage. This is probably my favorite gun. And like I said, we have we have two Vulcans. We have two Vulcans that aren't in the video and a Nerf Stampede. And we have pretty much all the darts you can need. We still have a clip system pack that's not used yet. But mainly mainly what we use is clip systems. I, I just think they're the coolest guns and the best in Nerf. Uh, so Thanks for watching, YouTube.